Modern DNA analysis is not what you see on TV crime shows. Researchers say it's a lot more complicated and a lot less certain. I see people sometimes see DNA as kind of an oracle, like it will have the truthful answer. But it's just a piece of evidence like any other piece of evidence that might be misinterpreted or might have low accuracy in some circumstances. U of O researchers found a group of skin cells swabbed from a door handle or a window won't necessarily prove who committed a crime, especially if the trace DNA was mixed up with the DNA of other people. These mixtures of DNA are difficult to analyze. There's a lot of opportunity for error, for misunderstanding or misinterpreting the evidence. Researchers say certain people, such as indigenous populations, Latinos, or Pacific Islanders, tend to have lower levels of genetic diversity, and due to that, may be incorrectly linked to a crime, due to false positive results from mixed samples of DNA. But something that they hadn't considered that much is how much the genetic background of the individuals in the mixture impact the accuracy and how the genetic background of the police's reference database impacts the accuracy. Researchers say the more individual DNA found in a mixed sample, the more cautious investigators need to be. Libby Dowsett, KGW News.